I really like my e-bike. I got it from ebikekit.com. They have really good tech support and will answer all your questions, make sure that it fits on your bike. It's pretty easy to install, did it all myself. Um, but I had to come up with some few modifications. So these are the things that I did to the e-bike kit that I got. I made my own torque arm or torque washer. I'm not sure what to call this piece exactly, but it keeps the axle from spinning. The torque arm that it came with it has two moving pieces and I don't know which way you're supposed to install it. it. Really jiggles around a lot. The other one, which is nice because it's hardened metal, but that, but that also moves around. It has, it doesn't fit uh, tightly. And so it's, it wasn't spinning in the axle. I hadn't stripped my axle out yet on my dropouts yet. Um, but the one that I built, I filed myself and it's made it out of some flat bar and it fits super tight. The next thing I had to replace or fix was my rims. I kept bending rims, especially the back one. And so my local bike shop, Omaha Bike Company, found this rim, the Velocity Atlas. They're heavier duty than the ones that come with the e-bike kit. The next thing I made was this battery plate to keep the battery from moving forward. The only thing that's keeping it from slipping is this little pin that um, is in the original plate that pops in and out. Uh, I just didn't think that didn't seem like enough. And so I put this little this plate that keeps it from moving forward. So I also had to build a whole new rack because the racks that come with the e-bike kit, I ended up breaking two of them um, at the same place. So I made my own um, using flat bar, inspired by Paul at bicyclinglife.com. And he has these really cool, you know, homemade designs. And then I recently added these hose clamps and sort of like a cross brace. I threaded the bike with a little bit bigger and it fits good on one side but the other side is a little tight, so this might be something I'm gonna get a little crap for doing. Um, I'm open for any recommendations. So yeah, I just grinded down that one bolt a little bit less. I added some weather stripping to the battery plate to try and keep it from shaking, but it still kind of has a lot of give and play. It goes up more side to side, a little bit up and down, but so when I'm riding, you can hear it kind of right going back and forth. It's a little bit annoying. And then the last thing is I get a lot of questions, uh, people asking me how much does your bike weigh or how much does the battery weigh? So here's the, here's all the weights. It's a difference of or an extra 20, almost 25 pounds. Um, you definitely feel it when the battery dies and you have to pedal. And additionally, the, the, the back motor does have a little bit of drag. The magnets kind of have a drag when you're riding it. I really like it. I'm getting ready to order a second one. So those are my recommendations for modifications and uh, get out there and ride. Be safe. Whoa!